Today we are diving on the top 5 editing apps that can transform your images like this one. Plus I will reveal which apps do I use to make thumbnails to channels with over 12 million subscribers. So if you want to know that, stay tuned. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech and practical tips, this is the place for you. Today we are going to compare the best free editing apps and one paid gem. And stick around because I'm going to edit a real thumbnail in real time. So I'm just editing the video and I noticed that I was not so clear. So I'm going to talk about the free apps, but the ones that I don't go in depth is because it belongs to the thumbnail process that I use. So let's jump again in the video. So the first app that I use all the time is Lightroom. And I have to say to you guys that it can be a little bit daunting if you never use because you have plenty of options in here, light, color, effects, and so on and so on. But believe me, when you learn to use it, it's super, super easy. And when I finish that, I'm just going to grab this photo and open on Snapseed. This tool is super, super powerful and I don't understand how it's free. And here we have dark room that have one thing that I really like. Graphically, it works super, super well. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to do that thing of pressing with one finger. One thing that I really like about this app that in other apps you need to pay is the fact that you can add on some masks. So imagine here, I want some linear masks. So that's really good. For example, when you have like a, a sunset or something like that, that you want that is slightly darker in a specific place. It can be just the top of your photo or the bottom. You can add that for free. So definitely a plus of dark room. This is a feature that I really like is the fact that you can see obviously these graphics changing in real time. So I think that is more visual than Lightroom if you want to work color by color, so definitely a plus. So in other words, this software is very slick and very easy to use, but it doesn't have some of the features that you have on Lightroom that you can see what is changing and how much is affecting in real time. The last one is VSCO that I have to say to you guys that I really think that this app is overrated. But if you look here on the bottom, you can see that a lot of the options, like for example, the tone and stuff like that, they have like a lock there. So it means that the free version will not allow you to control these things. So looking around, that is much, much better options than the VSCO. But since it's so popular, is definitely one of the five best ones that you can purchase or in this case, you can download into your phone or iPad. So now let's talk about usability and which ones are easier to use. And I have to say to you guys that one of them is definitely dark room. I think that is super, super easy to use. And another one is definitely one of the best is Snapseed. You can just go to your settings here on the sides and easily you understand what is details. And if you are not happy, you just close it and it doesn't save anything. So I find that these two apps are the easier to use. But when we talk about Canva is completely the opposite. I don't think that is an app that is completely optimized to use on your phone or on your iPad. So for that, I'll definitely recommend you to jump into a computer because you'll find that is much, much easier to use and much, much easier to do the changes that you want. And when we talk about the Lightroom is one of the apps that I use the most to do my thumbnails. But I know that when we talk about the software and uh, how to do things, it's a little bit more daunting if you never edit your photos with it. But after you know where you are pressing what you are doing, I think it's very easy to use. And when I finish that, I'm just going to grab this photo and open on Snapseed. So when I finish this, I'm going just to export this one also, and I'm going to import this photo once again to Lightroom. So now that I have here the photo, I'm going to start working on the colors once again, but it's going to give that extra saturation that you need for a thumbnail. So when you jump to Canva, you obviously have to upload your image. Your image is basically taking majority of the space on that image, and that photo needs to be guiding the eyes of who is seeing that thumbnail. So in this case, I'm on the wheel and I'm looking slightly down and towards me, I have all the right hand sides to put the title and so on and so on. You need to choose a title that is very easy to read and to understand. It doesn't have to be the same that you have on your title. So which app do you like the most? 
Is it Canva, Lightroom or Snapseed? Let me know in the comments below. Next week, we are going to basically talk a little bit more about thumbnails and how I make them more in details. So if you want to know that and much more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.